Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. The last two Cinema 4D tutorials I did, I showed how I deformed my can and created my old weathered texture on it. And it looks pretty realistic. It looks, looks like something you'd find uh, in an old back alley or in a garbage can. And it looks pretty weathered and looks okay. But I want to take it a little step further. I want to uh, create holes and create more erosion in it as though it has succumbed to the effects of rust and oxidation. And, I, and rather than do it by deforming polygons and moving polygons around, deleting them, and creating a whole bunch of cuts and, um, and increasing the polygon count, um, that would be a lot of work but I figure it's uh, going to be a lot easier to do it here using body paint and using an alpha map. So to get started I'm just going to come down here to my external texture right click and choose texture channels and come down here and click on alpha which brings up this box and allows me to specify the dimensions and resolution of my alpha map and Right now it's keeping the defaults of the rest of my texture, so that's fine. I'll choose that. Click on my little arrow here, right click on background. I'm going to create a new layer above it, so just like in Photoshop, I can start painting. Well, I'm going to grab my paintbrush, and over here in the attributes, I've chosen the brush that I want and I'm going to be using my Wacom tablet so I have pressure sensitive sensitivity enabled for size and these are the settings that I've chosen. Choo feel free to choose your own. Um, I'm just going to for the sake of this tutorial work on the bottom of my can here. So let me bring up the size of my brush a little bit. Actually I want to choose a brush and I want to choose something that's going to create some irregular, an irregular pattern. There we are. Size, I don't want that. I want to reset my uh, curve here. There we are. And rotation, minimum, oh, I'll go with 10. Randomness, and pressure all the way up to 100 spacing. I'll add a little bit of a jitter to it. Alright, let's do a little test stroke here. Okay, that will work. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I'm just going to very gently just create the effect of an irregular edge here, a rough edge, something that you see from old rotting metal. There we are. And create a little bit more here. Now, naturally, if you were doing this for your whole model, where it, where the erosion or um, comes to the edge of the can, you would also want it to be, be reflected up on the label as well. So that's something you definitely want to take into account. Okay, well I've created my alpha map here, but notice there's no change over here until you move it around here. Or, let me hit Control R and render it, and there we are. We've created that, um, that rotted effect. Let me come over to the, uh, projection mode, and I'll paint a little bit more here. And it will also be displayed, let me zoom out up here. It will also be displayed up here. 
Let me spin around. Do a render of that. There we are. Now we're now it's showing here as we're eating away. Do a render. And I think I'll fill in that little bit right there. Okay, let's turn around and see what it looks like. Very quick, very basic. Certainly it's uh, not something I'm finished with, but you get the idea on how to create a, a very detailed look in a can or any other object for that matter that essentially uh, still retains a low polygon count. It looks like when you render it that you know you you spent a lot of time modeling this so that it uh, so that it has a convincing rotting effect. But in reality, uh, we haven't done anything at all except create a uh, an alpha map. Here's a render I did uh, a little earlier using the exact same process. Now, can you imagine how much time it would take you? If you were to model this uh, using just polygons, it would be a it would take a lot of time, and I can only imagine how many polygons uh, you would end up having to create just to achieve this look. So that's it for this tutorial here in Cinema 4D, uh, which is creating alpha maps to um, add a weathered and rotted look to your model. So that's it. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name's Gary Miller. Have a good day.